Sometimes you have to cause a little chaos to win in fantasy football. And look who's in to celebrate with them. And when your opponent is in your way, every once in a while, you just gotta reach out and bitch slap them. Which teams are prepared to break all the rules and stir up some controversy in their quest for the playoffs? Let's find out in this week's WFL update. Rule number one, stay sick. Rule number two, keep your form. And rule number three, you gotta have fun with the beast. Taking a look at the scoreboard, your week 10 winners include the Wesomaniacs, Fagators, Ultimate, Stafford, Fucker, and Buried. Y'all think y'all something special because you win in fantasy football, but you're not. You're just a bunch of busted ass motherfuckers. If the season were to end today, the top three teams in each division would be in the playoffs. The Wesomaniacs and Tough Mudder would have first round buys, and the week one matchups would be Ultimate versus Stafford Infection and Jablonski versus Team Barryless. In this week's top story, Randy choked on his own Jablonski as he fell to the Wesomaniacs 103-96. to Hot by Green, and here he goes, A.J. Green for the touchdown. Jablonski drops to 5-5 five and five in the suplex division and faces a tough division rival in Stafford Infection, who also sits at 5-5. Five and five. In fact... Four teams in the suplex division have records of 5-5. Five and five. So, it's anybody's guess who will emerge in these last three weeks to vie for playoff spots. Our beast of the week, once again, is the seemingly unstoppable Tough Mudder Fucker. Goal from the five on the toss, it's Kamara, and he is in for a touchdown. Mudder continues his reign of dominance over the entire league and earns his third straight high points performance. With a win this week, Fucker can earn a division title and lock up a first round bye in the playoffs. Now Nick, you had your fun and your early success, but now I'm gonna need you to chill the out. Mudder's week 11 opposition comes in the form of Casino Ticino, who dropped his week 10 matchup against Barry Sanders. Play action from Goff. Goff, deep ball, Robert Woods, he's got it! Robert Woods, he is gone! Touchdown! In our featured matchup for Week 11, Barry Sanders will look to dig up a playoff spot as he takes on Zeppelin's minibar in a clash of 5-5 five and five suplex division teams. A victory places either team in solid standing for a playoff position. Which one of these teams will have the secret weapon for victory this weekend? We don't need the license here because we got the weapons, the secret weapons, right there. This week's feel-good story is the Detroit Fagators, who managed to jump from the bottom spot in the league to the number 10 seed with a victory over Zeppelin. Fagators still have a chance to sneak their way into the playoffs, but will face ultimate competition this week. Now you must do with the creation of all the unpleasantries in the entire universe! The ultimate team came alive in week 11 thanks to a ruthless performance from Todd Gurley. Gurley. One cut and go. Gurley. Ultimate will look to add some muscle this week and solidify their playoff spot. As I feel the injection from the gods above, I only know that the Ultimate Warrior is totally out of control. Ultimate coming off a week 10 shredding of the Cardiff Giants. Awesome. He's loving it. He's feeling his abs because he knows when he's lifting his shirt, they're gonna see shredded abs ripped to the bone. One team who is not loving it is the Cardiff Giants, who fall back into dead last in the league standings. Huge elbow right behind the e With consolation looming in the distance, Keith will have to regroup as he faces former friend turned fantasy adversary, the Wesomaniacs. The Wesomaniacs have a solid grasp on first place in the body slam division, but an upset from the Giants could put that title in serious jeopardy. Will Keith put Wesomania's division title dreams on hold, or will the Wesomaniacs slay the Giants for good? Professional athlete in the world today. Look at this. 
In another Body Slam Division matchup, Team Barry Liss will take on King in the North. Both teams are coming off losses in Week 11. Barry Liss fell to Stafford Infection. Sway fires on the run and it is caught. Unbelievable. It's like glue on his hands from Thielen. King, despite a solid 107-point performance, lost to Tough Mudder. With a win over King Kevin, Team Burialist can reestablish himself as a Body Slam division title contender. And he pulled it. He tries his flying knee, and this is all set up because of that inside leg kick. Well, that's going to do it for this week's league update. Even if you're feeling down and out, keep setting those lineups because every team still has a chance to make the playoffs. So you're telling me there's a chance. Yeah! Keep saying your prayers, taking your vitamins, making wise choices, and let's get ready to play. Who's ready to play? Who's ready to play? You guys, I know you guys. I'm with you all the way. Come on, baby. What's the mania is running wild, Jack. Taking a look at, uh, you've had your fun, your early s <clears throat> This week's feel-good story.